चैप्टर सेवन फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन क्वेश्चन एंड एक्टिविटीज फ्रॉम ग्रेड एट सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस क्वेश्चन वन हाउ आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर वट आर द डिफिकल्टीज यू फेस्ड इन क्लासिफाइंग द फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन द एक्सरसाइज गिवन इन टेक्सट आंसर लैंड रेफर्स टू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज सॉइल वॉटर मिनरल्स फॉरेस्ट एक्सेट्रा लेबर रेफर्स टू ह्यूमन एफर्ट फिजिकल एंड मेंटल कैपिटल इंक्लूड्स मैन मेड एसेट्स मशीनरी मनी टूल्स एंटरप्रन्योरशिप मीन्स स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस टेकिंग रिस्क एंड कंबाइनिंग अदर फैक्टर्स डिफिकल्टी इन क्लासिफिकेशन मैनी गुड्स और सर्विसेज यूज अ कम्बिनेशन ऑफ फैक्टर्स मेकिंग इट हार्ड टू डिसाइड विच इनपुट बिलोंग्स टू विच कैटेगरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ रेस्टोरेंट यूज इज लैंड बिल्डिंग लेबर कोक्स एंड कैपिटल इक्विपमेंट ऑल एट द सेम टाइम क्वेश्चन टू हाउ डज ह्यूमन कैपिटल डिफर फ्रॉम फिजिकल कैपिटल आंसर ह्यूमन कैपिटल स्किल्स नॉलेज ट्रेनिंग हेल्थ एंड एबिलिटीज ऑफ पीपल डेट मेक दैम प्रोडक्टिव फिजिकल कैपिटल टेंजिबल मैन मेड एसेट्स लाइक मशीन्स टूल्स बिल्डिंग्स व्हीकल्स की डिफरेंस ह्यूमन कैपिटल इंक्रीजेज विद एजुकेशन ट्रेनिंग एंड हेल्थ केयर वाइल फिजिकल कैपिटल इंक्रीजेज विद फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट ह्यूमन कैपिटल कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द वर्कर बट फिजिकल कैपिटल एग्जिस्ट इंडिपेंडेंटली क्वेश्चन थ्री हाउ डू यू थिंक टेक्नोलॉजी इज चेंजिंग हाउ पीपल डेवेलप देयर स्किल्स एंड नॉलेज आंसर Technology provides new learning opportunities through online courses, digital classrooms, and e-books. Platforms like Swayam and MOOCs allow people to learn subjects like robotics or textile printing from anywhere. Job portals like National Career Service (NCS) help connect workers with opportunities. Effect: Technology has broken geographical barriers, made learning flexible. and enabled people to acquire updated knowledge and skills faster question 4 a skill is something you learn and practice to get better it helps you do things well like playing a sport creative writing solving math problems cooking or even communicating well with people if you could learn one skill today what would it be and why answer I would like to learn coding and programming. Reason: It is a highly useful skill in today's world as most industries depend on technology. It will help me create apps, websites or even develop solutions to real life problems. It also opens up job opportunities globally and allows creativity with innovation. Question 5 Do you think entrepreneurship is the driving force of production? Why or why not? Answer: Yes, entrepreneurship is the driving force because it brings land, labor and capital together. Entrepreneurs take risks and make decisions to start and run businesses. They introduce innovation and create jobs for others. Without entrepreneurship the other three factors cannot be organized effectively question 6 can technology replace other factors like labor is this good or bad support your answer with the help of an example answer technology can replace some forms of labor example machines doing repetitive factory tasks or robots assisting in surgery good effects production becomes faster cheaper and more accurate bad effects it can cause unemployment if workers are not reskilled example in agriculture machines like harvesters reduce the need for manual labor but farmers without technical training may lose jobs hence technology should be seen as a complement not a complete replacement question 7 how do education and skill training affect a human capital can they substitute for each other or do they complement each other answer education builds basic knowledge reasoning and literacy 
Skill training provides hand-on ability to perform specific jobs. They complement each other because education provides the foundation. Training makes that knowledge practical and job ready. Example, a civil engineer needs education in design and also training in construction techniques. Question 8. Imagine you want to start a business that produces steel water bottles. What kind of inputs are needed? How would you obtain them? Suppose one of the factors is missing. What happens to your business operations? Answer. Inputs needed. Land. Factory space for production. Labor. Skilled workers to design, cut, mold and finish bottles. Capital. Machines for shaping steel. Raw materials. Money for investment. Entrepreneurship. My planning, risk taking and management, technology, modern machines to produce high quality bottles efficiently, obtaining inputs, land through rent, lease, capital from savings or bank loan, labor through hiring workers, raw materials purchased from suppliers. If one factor is missing, production will stop or become inefficient, for example, Without capital, I cannot buy machines. Without labor, I cannot run the factory. Question 9. Interview an entrepreneur or founder to understand their motivation to start a business and the opportunities and challenges they saw. You can work in pairs to create a questionnaire to collect the information and share what you have learned in a report. Answer. Entrepreneur interview report. I interviewed Mr. NCERT Hindi tutor. So friends, you can write the entrepreneur name here. Who runs a small bakery shop in my town. Motivation to start the business. He loved baking from childhood and wanted to turn his passion into a profession. He also noticed that the locality did not have a good bakery and saw it as an opportunity. Opportunities he saw a growing demand for fresh cakes and snacks. Festivals and birthdays created a steady customer base. Word of mouth publicity helped him gain regular customers. Challenges he faced. Lack of initial capital for buying machines and renting a shop. Difficulty in finding trained staff. Competition from bigger bakeries in nearby markets. Lessons learned. Hard work, good quality and fair pricing attract loyal customers. Innovation, new flavors and online delivery helps the business grow. Conclusion, his journey showed me that entrepreneurship requires passion, risk taking and persistence. Question 10. Think like an economist. Let's explore what happens when things change. If you were Ratna, what would you do in the following situations? Discuss with your classmates. First, suppose the rent for your space suddenly doubles. A. Will you raise the price of the food served to cover the cost? Answer. Yes, but only slightly so that customers do not stop by. Next, will you look for a cheaper location? Answer. Yes, I would explore shifting to a less expensive but convenient location. C. How does this affect your business? Answer. My profits will reduce in the short term. If cost stay high, it may force me to relocate or find ways to increase sales. Second, imagine one of your helpers quits suddenly. A. Can the remaining workers manage the same amount of work? Answer. For a short time, yes but it will create work pressure and may affect service quality. B. Will you need to offer a higher salary to attract a new worker? Answer. Yes. Offering better pay or incentives may be necessary to hire quickly. Third, you receive a small loan to invest in better technology for your restaurant. A. Will this increase the production or improve quality? Answer. Both. New technology, modern ovens, billing systems, etc. can speed up service and improve food quality. B. Will it help you reach more customers? Answer. Yes. 
faster service and better quality will attract more customers and technology may also help start online delivery. Fourth, suppose another restaurant opens in the neighborhood. A. How will you attract and keep your customers? Answer. By maintaining good taste, hygiene and customer service. Offering special dishes or discounts to build loyalty. B. Will you improve your service, reduce prices or offer something new? Answer. I would focus on improving service and adding something new like a special menu item, home delivery or combo offers rather than just reducing prices. Fifth, what government laws or rules should be changed to improve the ease of doing business? Answer, simplify the process of getting licenses and health permits, provide low interest loans for small entrepreneurs, Reduce complex taxes on small restaurants. Improve infrastructure like electricity and waste management. So friends, we have completed all these question answers. From chapter 7, Factors of Production. We have already studied the short notes and summary of this chapter. You can find the link in the description and on the screen. If you like the video, kindly like, hype the video and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. We will meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.